The last nine years, I've been going through some really big trials. I just became really angry with, with God and got older and decided I wanted to live life the way I wanted to live life. I said, I cannot. I didn't marry for this. I am not. This is not for me. My youngest one was uh, diagnosed with um, a brain tumor, and uh, I was in some kind of um, trauma. And one of my friends just introduced Revive Our Hearts to me as a just resource to just listen to and get comfort. I did not know that there was a culture of Christ out there that did anything like this. I had no idea. I had no concept of it. But I do now. <laughs> I do now. If it wasn't for Revive Our Hearts, I think I would have been divorced. I have began listening to the Revive Our Hearts podcast, and it's been like extreme makeover, mind and heart edition. I walked into that conference one person, and I walked out a totally different person. I went to truewoman.com, and I've, I've listened to, I think, all there is to, to listen. It really uh, helped me to understand that my role as a mother and my role as a wife are not menial in any way, shape, or form. I um, bought all the books in the bookstore in South Africa from Nancy and I, I spread it. The ministry was, a, was an answered prayer. It always reminds me and takes me back to the Word of God. Revive Our Hearts is raw truth. I've learned how to have true joy in the middle of these trials, and a lot of this teaching has just come from Revive Our Hearts. It's helped me to thrive just by pointing me to the truth. I can be in the middle of the jungle and listening to Nancy, and there's been many a day when I've been in my kitchen and I have tears streaming down my face because I'm feeling so ministered to. I love the fact that it doesn't make me dependent on a person, a book, but on the Word. It's so Bible-based that it doesn't matter where I am. It just ignites in me this desire to love Christ.